All right. Next, the next question I have is my beta fish will not eat. I know this is somewhat generic for uh, as a question, but we get asked it maybe. How how often would you say she she? Oh, fool. A lot. I yeah. mean, probably probably a, ha a good handful of times a day that I see. And I'm not as active as some of you guys on, on the Facebook um, mm -hmm. group. I'm not as active as, a, as active as I would like to be sometimes. But I see it all the time. And not just in that group, but in, like, across the board, really. Um, and a lot of it has to do with stress, um, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is something that's just not right. Maybe it's the wrong food. Um, maybe your beta is was fed something else before you got it and you don't know what they were fed. Maybe they were fed a flake and you're trying to feed pellets or maybe they were fed live and you're trying to feed, you know, the equivalent of a kibble, so to speak. So, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, there's always, there's nearly always mm. a reason behind it and whether it's stress, whether it's illness or whether it's yeah. just bad conditions. It's very difficult to tell, but you have to do, a, you know, a rule out process as to what is the underlying mm -hmm. problem. Yeah, I would say the same thing. I would maybe say um, the number one, maybe the food type, definitely, I would say is the number mm -hmm. one screw up. And then maybe water parameters, you know, yeah. that's maybe where I go next with it. You know, I've also found um, some of the some of these little tanks, you know, like the what are they maybe less than two gallons, like one and a half gallons. Yeah. And they have these LED lights on them. Mm -hmm. And um, I've I've seen them and they have like different settings and the settings can like make the, you know, the light change from all the different colors and flash and. Mm -hmm. I mean, if that that's stressful for me to watch. So, I mean, I couldn't even imagine living underneath a strobe light for the rest of my life. You know, yeah. so I think a lot of it is providing your beta with <laughs> as crazy. It sounds like Prop a structured environment. Yeah. You know, structure and stability is absolutely key. Yeah, it's so hard because, you know, you actually you just have to ask yourself. It's probably a list of like seven things and it's just generally the care facts on beta fish, you know? Yeah. Thanks for checking out that live stream, guys. That was me and Shishi. She is an admin over at Beta Fish Keepers. I know it was kind of long, but I'm going to try to crop out different videos for different topics because there was a lot of good questions asked, and I didn't want to leave out the good questions that people might have in a future reference. And for those of you that aren't a member of Beta Fish Keepers, I highly advise you join us a Facebook group. We almost were about to hit 100,000 members and I'm super ecstatic. So, to, and this, this clip is going to be on why my beta fish will not eat or why it's not eating. Maybe it's the food, maybe it's your water parameters. We always tell people, well actually we already answered it in the live stream and this is just a cropped clip of it. And uh, updates on me, the shop is coming together quite well. You can watch videos on the Palmer Aquatics page to uh, have regular updates and see the progress. I'm going to have fish in tanks pretty soon. And we're going to have the 18 foot, 760 gallon plywood tank. Sorry guys, my eyes hurt today. I don't know what it is. It's a beautiful morning. I worked night shift. Maybe that's it. And I'm just really tired. Ah. What else is there? There's so many updates, man. I got so much going on the Facebook groups. What were we talking about? Well, we'll just leave it at that. Uh, why my beta fish won't eat. Uh, join beta fish keepers. Uh, keep on keeping fish. And if you guys have, um, I'm looking for guests to be added to these videos and the live streams. Because what happens is we do live streams on the channel and then we crop it out and throw it on the clips, the other clips YouTube channel here on individual clips and we also throw it on the podcast so well, there's just a lot of content going out and it's just kind of cool to uh just talk fish and meet all these cool people because i myself can't get enough content on this stuff so i figure why not just start producing it and meeting up with other cool people new to myself so all right guys i'm blabbing i'm out